So the new Narwhal Flow has what some people might consider a problem. It is a lot different than normal robot vacuum cleaners, and it's about the charging. So my Narwhal Flow, uh, it got stuck overnight, and so now the battery's dead, and I put it back in the dock, and I washed the mop, but it's not charging. You don't see the little charging symbol, and I know that because I've had to do some testing. And here I have the Z10, uh, well, it's fully charged, but there'll be a little lightning bolt in that uh, battery if it's charging. Now, sometimes it charges after it mops, sometimes it doesn't. I thought it was, uh, had to do with the base station dry. At first I had it on silent drying and it seemed like anytime the Narwhal washed its mop and then you hear that fan that it's drying the mop pad, I was associating the drying of the mop pad with not charging the battery, maybe because the charging the battery kind of heats up the the robot so they don't want hot air blowing on the mop pad and charging the battery maybe that would be too much heat i'm thinking that's what it is there's hardly any information on this so i changed it to strong drying and it did work last night it charged after it washed the mop but now today we're back to not charging until the mop is dry they don't tell us how long it takes to dry that mop i have seen it take up to two to three hours this could be a potential problem as far as when it's going to recharge and go clean next. So every time it comes back to the dock, it washes the mop. You know, is it, it's going to wait for the, the mop roller to dry before it actually recharges it. So I don't know exactly what's going on. At first I thought I had a bad unit, but it eventually does charge after the drying stops, which in my opinion, they need to tell us more information about this.